Welcome to Open Heaven Daily Devotional Study. Today's date, Sunday, February 12, 2023. Topic, Only God Can Protect. Memory Verse, Psalm 127 Verse 1, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake but in vain. Bible reading is taken from 2 Samuel 26 verse 5 to 16. 5. And David arose, and came to the place where Saul had pitched, and David beheld the place where Saul lay, and Abner the son of Ne, the captain of his host, and Saul lay in the trench, and the people pitched round about him. 6. Then answered David and said to Ahimelech the Hittite, and to Abishai the son of Zeruiah, brother to Joab, saying, Who will go down with me to Saul to the camp? And Abishai said I will go down with thee. 7. So David and Abishai came to the people by night, and, behold, Saul lay sleeping within the trench, and his spear stuck in the ground at his bolster, but Abner and the people lay round about him. 8. Then said Abishai to David, God hath delivered thine enemy into thine hand this day, now, therefore, let me smite him, I pray thee, with the spear even to the earth at once, and I will not smite him the second time. 9. And David said to Abishai, Destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed, and be guiltless? 10. David said furthermore, As the Lord leaveth, the Lord shall smite him, or his day shall come to die, or he shall descend into battle, and perish. 11. The Lord forbid that I should stretch forth mine hand against the Lord's anointed, but, I pray thee, take thou now the spear that is at his bolster, and the cruse of water, and let us go. 12. So David took the spear and the cruse of water from Saul's bolster, and they gat them away, and no man saw it, nor knew it, neither awaked, for they were all asleep, because a deep sleep from the Lord was fallen upon them. 13. Then David went over to the other side, and stood on the top of a hill afar off, a great space being between them. 14. And David cried to the people, and to Abner the son of Ne, saying, Answerest thou not, Abner? Then Abner answered and said, Who art thou that creest to the king? 15. And David said to Abner, Art not thou a valiant man? And who is like to thee in Israel? Wherefore then hast thou not kept thy lord the king? For there came one of the people in to destroy the king thy lord. 16. This thing is not good that thou hast done. As the Lord leaveth, ye are worthy to die, because ye have not kept your master, the Lord's anointed. And now see where the king's spear is, and the cruise of water that was at his bolster. Our topic again is only God can protect. Message I laid me down and slept, I awakened for the Lord sustained me. Psalm 3 verse 5 The Bible passage above says that you sleep and wake up because God sustains you. No matter how strong you are, if your enemies cannot defeat you when you are awake, they can defeat you when you are awake, they can defeat you when you are asleep. You may say, Oh, I have bodyguards watching over me 24-7. There are enemies that bodyguards cannot even see, not to talk of the fight. Could your bodyguards have protected you from coronavirus? In any case, even the best bodyguards sleep too. In our Bible reading for today, King Saul was sleeping and Abner a warrior so mighty that even David respected him, was supposed to be guarding the king, but he fell asleep also. David came and seeing them both sleeping, took the king's spear and water bottle away. 
In the morning, he cried to the king and showed him that even with the best of bodyguards, he could have lost his life the previous night. No matter how many people you have guarding you, without God, you are not safe. A few years ago, we had just finished the convention on a Sunday and that night, around 2 a.m., I went out, walking through the camp and thanking the Almighty God for what He had done. For a long while, I didn't see a single guard. Finally, I saw one sprawled on a chair, fast asleep. He had another chair beside him so I sat on it. In his effort to drive mosquitoes away while still sleeping, he nearly slapped me, so I got up and left. The second guard I saw was not even pretending he spread out four chairs, removed his shoes, and lay down. Now, even if they were awake, could they really prevent any evil from happening unless the Lord helps them? Indeed, except the Lord keeps a city, those who watch over it do so in vain, Psalm 127 verse 1. Thank God that we have a Father who never sleeps. He is the only one who can really protect you and yours. Prayer Point Father, I put my life, loved ones, and property in your hands. Please keep us all safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bible in One Year, Numbers 11 to 13. Our hymn today is Hymn 9. Immortal Invisible God Only Wise. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. God bless you.